accelerating possibility happens when optimism meets urgency, when imagination encounters grit, and when ambition converges with humility. In the Skull World Forum's humble beginnings, we invited about 250 social entrepreneurs to a three-day program here in Oxford. Our hope was that we could support a community where social entrepreneurs would help each other. We are delighted to welcome you, the world's finest and most dedicated people, to a week of discoveries made and friendships formed. This week in Oxford, in this gorgeous theater and beyond, we will celebrate your new stories of triumph. Einstein famously said, imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited, but imagination encompasses the entire world. You are an extraordinary gathering of people working for equality and justice, and our country needs you more than ever. We need your ideas, your experiences, we need your internationalism, and thank you for sharing them with us. If we look to the margins, we can find clues, indicators of what's to come, and we can also find incredible solutions. We all have a role to play in shifting our thinking to a way that's not a white dominant way of thinking, but a way that is inclusive of all perspectives. And that's only gonna happen when we sit down together and begin a conversation around things that are often uncomfortable. We've realized that out of school girls tend to be concentrated in certain geographies. And now with our smartphone and our data and tech approach, we've actually come to this point that 5% of villages in India have 40% of the out of school girls. Together, we can find the necessary tools to transform our greatest challenges into our greatest triumphs. We can be remembered as the generation that looked the future square into the eyes and acted upon what it saw. In Ghana, people usually say education is expensive. Forgetting that ignorance is expensive too. It costs way more money than education. The fake news rubric, the fake news framework, is actually being utilized by authoritarian leaders around the world to justify their own repression. We live in a world where men control the tools of power, be it economic, social, political, cultural. And although women participate in different facets of life, men control the keys to the real power. If we're not reaching the youngest refugees with education, how do they have a chance to go forward, to rebuild their societies, to reach their potential? I know education can help me and help my society and also help my country because they cannot go back to Syria one day without education. There are three billion people that will be living in unsafe housing, substandard housing by 2030. That's a third of the entire global population. It's smarter to be closer to your investees than your investors. That's how you create greater impact. I believe we need to move this century from being growth addicted to becoming growth agnostic so that we stop having institutions that are financially, politically and socially addicted to endless growth and that we can actually instead have economies that learn to thrive. How can we be human? How can we exist? How can we take space if we're unable to even be acknowledged as, as people? That's what happens when we're not expressing our experiences. The elephant in the room is the current business model. The data, the way that it's captured, the way that it's harvested without people's consent. It feels to me a little bit like we're talking about the cherry on the cake, a huge amount, which is the algorithm. How does it look? How does it taste? And then we start talking a little bit about the ingredients that go into the cake. That's the data. And we're missing the fact that the cook is just a psychopath and no one's talking about it and nobody wants to eat that cake. These social entrepreneurs, like all the others in the Skoll Awardee community, start with a keen understanding of the present, its deficiencies, and its opportunities. So now it's time for us, and by that I mean all of us, to do our work. And all of you in this room that are committed to solving the world's most pressing challenges, our work is to keep falling in love with the problem and not staying in love with our solutions. Strangers helping other strangers in their darkest moments, all by text, works. 
I hope that everybody who's ever texted us knows that you are stronger than you know. And if you ever doubt that, if you ever doubt how strong you are, we got you. I hope that one day I can stand before you and truly deserve your applause when M Pharma ensures that every African is not denied access to high quality medicine because of their socioeconomic background. A bit of being naive can open up some incredible possibilities for innovation. It forced us to partner deeply with those on the front lines who did know. Just as there are social entrepreneurs, there are anti-social entrepreneurs. Just as we are committed and we are driven and some of us are smart, they are also committed and driven and smart, but they lack one thing. And that thing they lack is that they don't have the trust and the solidarity that binds this room. These leaders envision a future where equality and justice and access to the basic human needs prevail. They are not mere possibilities, they are reality. If you feel uncomfortable, lean into that and just sit in that and know, wow, like I'm actually growing and stretching as a person because I feel uncomfortable. We are all related, our suffering is mutual and our thriving is mutual.